Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Joseph from Draconian Videos, and today we'll be doing a classic game review. I will be doing the infamous Friday the 13th for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So let's pop this sucker in and see what's up. So, the game starts out like most other video games in history and tells you the developers and the publishers. Then, BAM! You get the knife going through Jason's mask, and the game begins. So, as in most video games, you have a choice of a few characters, all of them being camp counselors since this is Friday the 13th. But I strongly recommend you play as the female counselors, mainly because you'll notice that the males are really slow. But I have found one exception to where one of the females is actually just as slow as the males, so I'd avoid her too. So as you can see from the screen, your main objective is to light all the cabin fireplaces with a torch. But I have yet to find this torch, but I constantly find lighters that just so happen to light these fires. So wait, they think a lighter is a torch? Clearly LGN was on crack when they made this mistake. But let's keep going. Also, your main weapon is a rock, and the main problem with it is that it has sort of an arc to it when it's thrown, so I'd avoid using that when you encounter Jason. But you also get a knife later, so I'd strongly recommend looking for it before you go fight Jason. That is, unless the Jason alarm goes off. And that brings me to my next point. The main point of the game is listening for the Jason alarm. Since you're one of the counselors, there are many counselors you could have chosen from, but since you chose one, the other ones are in danger from Jason himself. So, as you're randomly walking around and killing zombies, yes, those are zombies, apparently, the Jason alarm will go off. And once the Jason alarm goes off, it's time to open your map. And I'm all the way over here, and it's all the way over there. And the main problem I've noticed with this game, and a lot of other people have noticed, is that if you're supposed to walk left, and you walk left, on the map you go right. So clearly it's either inverted or LJN is idiots, which I, I, I guarantee they're idiots. Once you get to the Jason Alarm area, which is one of the cabins, you'll walk in and one of the camp counselors will just say thank you, and then they won't do anything else. So, if you get stuck here, my recommendation is to just randomly walk around that cabin. Don't leave, because Jason is in there. We don't know where he is. He's getting closer, and closer, and closer. Then BAM! There's Jason! It kind of reminds me of Punch-Out, because Jason will attack you at first stage with just his fists later on getting a machete and so on. But when he attacks you, you press down and dodge. You'll either dodge left or right. And if you lose all your life, then you're dead. And you have to play as another counselor. And it's basically the whole point of the game is to beat Jason before he kills all the counselors. So as I said earlier, after you defeat Jason, it's not over yet. Jason has many stages, which includes the first stage, where it's just him, the second stage, which is a machete, and later, I don't know, because I haven't gotten that far, because I always end up losing. Anyway, so far, I'm good at this game, but as you progress later, it gets harder and harder, dealing that when he has a machete, it does a lot more damage to you than when his fists do. So you gotta be ready to dodge whenever he attacks you. Now it's on to stage 2 of Jason. As it said when I defeated him the first time, it said, you won, for now. So, chances are I'm gonna fight Jason again. But he could, could he be any stronger? I mean, he just had his fists earlier, so what is he gonna use? What do you think he's gonna use? Let's find out. So, the Jason alarm goes off again while I'm in the middle of nowhere. So, you know, regularly, I go the wrong way. Then finally I get there. The camp counselor thanks me for saving him. He has very little health, well, not this one at least. And now I'm looking for Jason. Just looking. Looking. Just looking. 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 BAM! There's Jason. But oh my god, he's got a machete. Oh god, no, no, no! Yeah, see, I can never get past that part. But you know, that, that's all I can really talk about the game for now. Um, you know, people like the Angry Video Game Nerd, Alpha Omega Sin, and plenty of other, of other game reviewers, even Nostalgia Critic, have given this game crap. But I say, it's it's a pretty good game. It's not that bad. It's not bad to as bad as how LJN can be. Because, you know, they're the worst gaming company in the history of gaming. But it's definitely worth your time. So if you want to try this game out and you think it sucks, because what if other people have said, then just, just buy it. And, you know, you'll love it. You might hate it. Don't, don't follow my review if you don't want to. So, as for my rating for this game, I'm going to give it a pretty good score. But it's definitely not perfect, but it's not terrible. I give this game a 3.5 out of 5. Anyway, thanks for watching my first game review, which was Friday the 13th for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I will hopefully be back if my colleagues approve of this. 
and hopefully if you guys approve of this. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to Draconian Videos for more, and I will see you later. Goodbye.